my first time at my stand, alright, we've had some really nice bucks up here, it's pretty far from where, um, I usually hide in the stand, I'll pop some pictures up on the screen of some bucks we got up here, but, um, it's around 2, to uh, 15, I'd say we just put some corn out, Tell me y'all can hear that. Please tell me y'all can hear that. That's right up here on this hill. I parked down here at the bottom. We have a major coyote problem. Like, My grandpa just shot something. My grandpa just shot something. I just stopped filming. I literally just. 
should stop filming this. Let's go. Let's go. Hopefully it's a bug. Let's go, man. Let's go. Right now, are you pulling my leg? Oh my gosh, my phone just died. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He killed the big eight, man. That's what he told me. But he killed like go. I'll tell you what. Well, I'll say I saw this big bug. But if he's pulling my leg, I will hurt him. I hope he knows that. He better not be pulling my leg. I could have still shot something right out the stand. But uh, I'm gonna come back up here with this four wheeler. Get my stuff. Haul a big booty down here. And uh, see if he's actually telling the truth. Hopefully, man. My phone died while I was on the conversation with him. Man, let's go. That makes me so happy. Everything I know is from my, he taught me everything I know really. So I love to see him shoot something. And I looked over here and I thought I seen an oven and sure enough it was that oven. He was out there in that field. 300 yards or something. That deer, would have, that deer would have been good next year. Well, can't help that. <laughs> but he's dead some bucks up now and it's all on camera. Did you drop that him? That car there. You ought to take that car. It, it was. Yeah, I got him on the video. You made a mistake. <laughs> Golly. That's alright. He'll make a pretty skull man. Well, we got them all laid out here. Oops. We need a story on what happened. See, that's what he's wanting to know. Embarrass me. You know, people, old people, sometimes get excited. Well, they didn't get much film of what happened, so. And uh, I filmed this whole thing. No, tell them what, why you shot him. 
Well, I thought it was at a, bit, a pretty good eight that I had over here. It was getting late. It was still shooting light, but. He thought it was a monster. I thought it was a big buck. It was fairly tall, but it just wasn't very wide at all. And he walked sideways a lot, and you know, you get to seeing both sides of the horn, so antlers. So he goes down there, about 200 yards, across the banks, and he come back to me on the other side, in the other field. Well, I had my gun there, and I had my sandbags, and there was another buck over here eating at a feeder. He had one antler completely broke off, a eight pointer. And uh, he was standing there watching this buck coming. And uh, this buck gets up there close to this deer and he run. Then he goes over to that feeder, the one I shot, he goes over there and starts to eat my corn. Well, I've fed him enough corn this year. So I done kind of made up my mind that I used that old safety off. And it was, I had the camera there, and I was filming. And when I shot that sucker by that feeder, he had his tongue in there and getting feed, corn. He hit the ground like he'd have dropped a sack of sand, sandbag. And that's my story. And then. My son, my grandson come over the hill there. He I, was, I was so excited. I was, I was talking to him. I said, I hope, I hope he shot that big eight pointer. <laughs> and I get down here and it's that little big <laughs> nine pointer. But uh, it, it's, it ain't my first mistake. <laughs> or it won't be my last one. Thank you. 